Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadongs, the one Bob built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park predictions video where today I'm going to be making my final predictions for 2021 for the Cedar Fair theme parks and then that's it, that is it for these couple of videos. Then they will go into hibernation, ready for 2022 prediction next year, uh, around the same time as they've been uploaded this year. Uh, can't believe we're at that stage again, where the prediction videos end for a few months. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to make the final predictions. Again, like the Six Flags one with the COVID-19 crisis, it should be pretty easy uh, to make these predictions. Uh, not with the case that, um, you know, attractions are being delayed like Six Flags, but... I do believe that the prediction is going to be very, very easy indeed. So, before we get started, here is how you can interact with the channel. If you've loved this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic. And also make sure you subscribe to Coach Chal YouTube channel for more. And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, your family and our social media. And make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved. Your shout outs which will be saved for the next day's videos. And also make sure you send in your merchandise continuously on Instagram and Snapchat. The links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video. Also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2000 subscriber Q&A. Also guys make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting. If we do that, I will release Coaster Channel merchandise on a new website as well as other projects I've got planned for the long term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So kicking off our predictions, we go to California's Great America. And it's very, very easy. Now, I predicted family rides and new events. Now, I'm going to go away from the family rides and I'm just going to predict they're going to launch some brand new events at the theme park. So very, very easy prediction to make. Uh, and I think they'll just go for an event here and maybe relaunch the South Bay Shores Water Park a little bit. Do like a nice little mini relaunch uh, in 2021 for the not opening it much in 2020. Moving into Canada's Wonderland, now I predict the Water Park edition, however I'm going to go completely away from that. Now it's something we already know is going to open in 2021 and that is Hyatt House slash Hyatt Place which is their brand new hotel accommodation resort. So uh, that's their brand new hotel. So great investment for Canada's Wonderland, one of the bigger non-coaster additions for the theme parks in the Cedar Fair chain next year. So it's a great hotel accommodation and a great investment for Canada's Wonderland in the long term. Moving into Carowinds, and I predicted family rides and new events. I'm just going to stick with the event. I think there won't be any new rides at Carowinds next year. Uh, if there is, I'll be surprised. But I think, like California's Great America, it will be mainly events uh, next year. Moving into Cedar Point, and I predicted the continuation of the 150th anniversary celebrations. I'm going to stick with that, and also they're going to be launching the 2020 attraction in 2021, Snake River Expedition, which is their brand new slow-moving boat ride uh, on the paddle wheel excursion site uh, to help celebrate the 150th anniversary and celebrate the history of the theme park. So very nice uh, launch. They do some great stuff for season pass holders. Uh, and annual pass holders uh, and you know they're doing some great stuff to keep them you know in the mix and keep them in the deal um, and to help them you know help them with a cheaper deal a nice a better deal uh, on their annual passes next year so uh, very good from Cedar Point and the rest of the Cedar Fair theme parks as well. Moving into Dorney Park and this is a pretty easy one now recently over the last couple of days I spotted something on Reddit that um, it won't be long, but basically this, the, the bottom line is it won't be long until fences go up around the site and foundation work begins. So in 2021, I'm going to stick with the same prediction. We are going to get that Gravity Group wooden shuttle roller coaster uh, on the former site of the Stinger roller coaster, the Vacoma uh, in Vertigo that left the park a couple of years ago now. So we are going to get this brand new Gravity Group wooden coaster, the Shuttle Coaster. Look at Switchback at ZDT's Amusement Park, or ZDT's I think it's pronounced, Amusement Park. 
Um, you can have a look at Switchback. Basically, it's going to be a bigger version of Switchback if you look at uh, POVs of that attraction. Moving into King's Dominion, and I predict the same thing I'm going to stay with, and that is an SNS. 40 free spin coaster replacing their former horse top spin the crypt now like i've said and like many people have said all along this will be filler for their next big coaster which is of course replacing volcano the blast coaster which they closed a couple of years ago now um so basically this is the filler coaster this is like the first coaster before the next big coaster uh so it's still nice to get a coaster before a big coaster uh replacing volcano and of course this one's replacing the crypt and i think that a free spin is a great coaster to have but i think the big battle will be between this free spin and of course dragon slayer that's opening at adventureland in iowa in 2021 that's going to be the battle of the free spins uh this year or uh, well, next year, sorry. Moving in then to King's Island, and I predict to the possible Grand Carnivale celebrations, events type year, and again, again I'm, I'm going to stick with that. They've already opened Orion, so there's no point delaying a 2020 attraction that's already opened. Orion's been getting great reviews from people, so uh, I'm very glad to hear that that's gone down a big success because it's the Giga Coaster we've all been waiting for at King's Island. And of course, these new events will make it an even better all-round year next year. Moving into Knott's Berry Farm, and again, extended celebrations of the 100th anniversary. I'm going to stick with that prediction, uh, and it will be that prediction, basically. So, you know... Uh, I think that it's definitely going to be that kind of year, really. Um, I think that Knott's Berry Farm... I'm not too sure they've opened their Knott's Berry Tales Return to the Fair yet. So maybe they could delay that till next year if they haven't opened it already. So, you know, I think we could see the relaunch of their new Dart Ride next year as well. Moving into Michigan's Adventure, I predicted a Grand Carnival event. We're scratching that. We know what's happening for 2021. It's their delayed... Camp Snoopy area for 2020, of course. That's replacing the Bebop Boulevard Antique Cars ride. Um, finally, a new attraction at Michigan's Adventure, and it's been delayed till 2021. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yes, it's this brand new Camp Snoopy attraction, uh, an area with a few, couple of new rides, a few new rides, uh, and just an overall theme with the Camp Snoopy element added in. Moving in then to Valley Fair, and I think this and Worlds of Fun are very, very easy. I'll go on about Worlds of Fun later, but I predict the extended events, and I'm going to stick with that. We're going to have some brand new events at Valley Fair around the year, just to bring that spirit back to the park. And finally, Worlds of Fun. Same prediction from earlier, and I'm going to stick with that prediction once again. We're going to see an event year at Worlds of Fun as well, with some extended events and some brand new themed events for all seasons, just to bring that spirit back to the theme park. So there we go. That is my predictions, my final predictions for 2021 at the Cedar Fair theme parks. Wow. So that is a second final predictions video done and dusted. I can wash my hands of it for a few months because uh, it's been hard predicting. Um, it's going to get harder uh, when I do my first predictions for 2022 um, around the springtime uh, or just before spring, like in the winter or something. Uh, but I'm very excited uh, to get back into the swing of things with the predictions and to start, you know, not thinking about delaying attractions and things like that and start thinking about brand new attractions for all the parks now and not just delayed attractions for some parks now uh, like it was this year for next year. So uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be uh, back to normal hopefully next year with the predictions. It won't be any delayed attractions hopefully, fingers crossed. And um, yeah, so from on the basis of it then, it looks like we're going to have mostly event years at most most of the parks and anniversary celebrations um just because it's an all-round year um in terms of anything new again we're looking at camp snoopy at michigan's adventure delayed from this year of course that's been delayed till next year now um obviously orion's already open at king's island so they'll go for an event year in my opinion obviously the brand new hyatt house slash hyatt place which is the brand new hotel accommodation at canada's wonderland that's been delayed till 2021 so i think that's the main thing for canada's wonderland and in terms of coasters, King's Dominion and Dorney Park are the focus for next year with the brand new wooden shuttle coaster from Gravity Group at Dorney and King's Dominion's brand new free spin coaster as we wait for an even bigger investment on the site of Volcano the Blast Coaster. So it's going to be an exciting few years to watch Cedar Fair. I think that some parks will be pushing to the spotlight. Hopefully Valley Fair, for your fans sake, is one of them. And... Um, yeah, very, very good. Uh, and also, guys, if you've got an opinion on my predictions, 
comment them down below. I really don't mind if you don't agree with some of my predictions. Uh, if you think that some parks are going to do better than just events, then please put them down below. But I think with the current climate and I think with some attractions being delayed till 2021, I think it'll be a safe bet that they just do events. Whether some parks put in a water park addition or not is up to you guys. Uh, but I just think they're just going to go for an event this year and maybe they do some water park stuff next year um, announced for 2022 and announce it next year. Um, so we'll see what happens. But thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell, Kill the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.